Hey, for uh, project two in digital fabrication, part of your uh, work is to design a box. And I'm just going to uh, show you how you might use Fusion 360 to design it in 3D and then get two dimensional vector drawings out of that 3D model so that you could use them with the laser cutter or the shop bot. I'm drawing a pretty boring box, and I assume you'd be doing something a lot more interesting. But um, just to show you what I mean, I'll use some traditional woodworking joinery and uh, show you how this looks. So let's say uh, we're going to make this 100 millimeters long and we'll make what's called a, uh, a lap joint. So I'm drawing one side of the box right now. <clears throat> And I'll hit stop sketch, and just so you can see, this is going to be, let's, let's say I'm going to make it, um, how tall? 40 millimeters tall. Okay, so there's one side of the box. I'll make another sketch and uh, put it on that same plane, and what I'll do is just draw the other side. So the other side actually just looks like this, and I'll stop sketch. I can do the same thing and, and press pull this up uh, to the same height. It's kind of weird. Um, instead of putting a distance, I can just put two, make it go to the top of that. And instead of join, I will make a new body and hit OK. So now I've got two bodies, one for each side. I've also got two sketches. Uh, one for each of those sides. So I'm, I'm not really interested in these sketches uh, because those are those are not the plane that I would actually cut with the laser cutter or the um, the shop bot. I'm interested in cutting on these planes, right? So um, first, what I'll do is just make copies of these uh, and finish the box. So I'll paste that, and um, I can rotate this around 180 degrees and then um, I'll use the point to point to actually make this point match up with that point oh not quite right this point should match up with that point try that again this point should match up with that point there we go I'll copy the other body and paste it paste do the same thing here I'll just rotate it uh, well I don't really have to rotate it that's kind of silly it's the same part either way but I'll use the same point to point and make this point match up with that point there we go I kind of have a, a box right there's no bottom here and what I probably want to do is uh, maybe have a groove that goes down around the bottom so I can have a floating base to it uh, floating bottom to the box I mentioned that in class but basically, I just want to show you how you could get these um, these parts out as vector drawings. So let's. I'm I'm interested right now in just this one. How could I get this to cut on uh, the shop bot? This doesn't really make sense for the laser cutter because we have to pocket this this portion of it, right? To make this joint, we actually have to cut partial partially through the piece of wood, and the laser cutter isn't really good at that. So. Um, what I'm going to do is just make a sketch that's specifically going to become my vector drawing. So I'll make the sketch on this surface uh, and I'll actually try that again. I'll create the sketch on, uh, I guess on this surface is okay. The other way I could do it is maybe I should just go around this back way. I will create a sketch here. That way I can pull the geometry from the other side through onto my sketch using this project uh, feature. So I'm going to project all these lines uh, onto this sketch. So basically I'm pulling the lines from the other side onto here and uh, and that's it. That's the whole sketch. So we've got a sketch on the back that shows this part would not get cut. These would get pocketed and um, hopefully that makes sense that this could be a drawing that would be acceptable for the shop bot. So I will go to that sketch, right click on it and hit save as DXF. 
can save it on the desktop as wall. Just to show you that I'm not lying about this, we can open uh, Illustrator. Uh, I could do the same thing, of course, for all of the other, uh, well, I guess I only need one other wall because uh, two of them look like this and then two of them look like just a flat piece. Quite honestly, this kind of box is easier made on in, in the sculpture area using the table saw. Way easier to make a box like this, but I'm assuming your boxes will be taking advantage of the tools that we have. So you may have curved parts of them or uh, interior holes, the kinds of things that uh, a shop bot or laser cutter are better suited to. So I'm going to open that DXF file. It's going to ask me some information. Uh, it, it, you may have something like scale to artboard or something like that. Make sure it's scaled to 100% and that one unit is not an inch but a millimeter. Um, so one unit equals one millimeter. And then we can hit OK. And there we go. So this is a vector drawing. We could use this uh, for the laser cutter, but in this case, it would make more sense to use it for the shop bot. I could save this as an SVG uh, or a PDF or an Illustrator file. I think for the shop bot, it probably works best to save it as an Illustrator file, um, but really any of those should work, I think. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, there is still some judgment to make. This doesn't explain how to make the part on the shop bot. You have to know that this is pocketed to a certain depth but it's become a 2D drawing, so there's some more information that's necessary to turn this into a toolpath, and we use that software called Partworks to make the toolpath for the shop bot, and I'll show you that soon. Let me know if you have any questions.